Today we have amongst us the Green Oscar of India, none other than Dr. S. P. Gon Chaudhary amongst us, and it's an absolute pleasure to have you, sir, with up with us. So we would like to know that uh, about your journey, sir. You have worn many hats. You have been an academician. You have contributed immensely to the solar power in our country. You have also uh, you were one of the pillars who actually stood up the first uh, solar. Uh, complex in co in the city of Kolkata as well. So uh, you have had the experience of working with the Queen Elizabeth II, who unfortunately very recently passed away. So, uh, sir, would you take us through that journey, and you know uh, how did that happen? How was it like, and what can the students uh, you know learn from that? Uh, well, uh, actually, uh, when I started solar energy and renewable energy activities. Uh, you know, at that time, I was not doing this uh, type of work for the environment protection. At that time, the need of the people in our country in the 80s, you know, uh, 600,000 people, uh, there are 600,000 villages in our country, where out of that almost 400,000 villages, there was no electricity. And at that time, you know, in order to give them electricity, some light or some uh, fan or something like that, I started uh, doing work. And my work in Sundarban, uh, you know, that uh, got a lot of uh, recognition. Uh, people, they were using kerosene and they were just uh, uh, um, uh, requesting us to, uh, to get a light for the, so that their children can read and other things. So we developed some solar lighting system and we started, uh, you know, inducting them in our program. And about 500,000 uh, people of Sundarbans, you know, in 90s, you know, I, I uh, gave them uh, electricity. And due to that, uh, this uh, what you call the Green Oscar or Ashton Award, you know, that was given to me in 2004. Um, uh, I got it from London. Uh, so that is the background of that program. But uh, coming to the other side of the story, uh, you know, in our country, uh, we have now uh, taken up a lot of other works uh, to provide them electricity to the villagers, as well as in order to, you know, reduce our emission, we have launched a major solar program in our country. Uh, that program is the National Solar Mission. And in that uh, National Solar Mission program, I was part of that mission. You know, the first solar power plant in the country uh, was installed in Asansol, 2002 uh, megawatt uh, power station in Asansol area, based on which the whole country, you know, launched a program on uh, installation of solar power plant. And now in our country, almost 80,000 megawatt of solar power is generated in our country to reduce the emission. In the recent past, you know, the Prime Minister of India, he declared uh, in Glasgow that uh, uh, our country will produce 500,000 megawatt of uh, uh, that clean energy by the year 2030. That is a big uh, initiative and we are all working on that. We are making policy. Throughout the country, uh, I'm working, I'm doing research activities, a lot of research activities in the country. And uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, really uh, our IITs, our engineering colleges, other engineering colleges and IIC Bangalore, and all other institutions, premier institutions, they are now with us. They are doing a lot of research activities. And India, uh, what uh, India has targeted, uh, you know, I, I do believe as a part of the program that India's target to install 500,000 uh, megawatt of clean energy source uh, by the year 2030 is achievable. We have to do hard work, of course, and uh, all the people, uh, like institutions like Heritage, you know, the academic institutions, the industries, uh, uh, like Vikram Solar and other people who are doing great job, uh, they and at the same time the financial institutions. So all should uh, and the government, all uh, all should uh, you know uh, come up together and uh, uh, they uh, we uh, we will uh, uh, then only we can uh, uh, you know make a livable and such a sustainable world for our future generation. That is the target and that is my objective, future objective also. Okay, sir. So you talked about the government, the institutions, uh, at the institutional level, what should be done and how they can play a role in sustainability. But at an individual level, you know, for the students especially, how can they inculcate sustainability in their own lives? Uh, 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 yes, uh, they can play a major role, you know. The uh, conservation of energy uh, uh, is the major part, you know. The students, you know, we are really casual. Uh, you see, we, do, we always forget to switch off the light. We always keep our computer on while not working also. Uh, we don't uh, close the tap, you know, all the times. This is, this is called, we call it uh, energy consumption, resource consumption, uh, conservation. 
you know that students i always tell students that um, uh, even you don't uh, don't waste a drop of water because it contains a lot of energy so similarly uh, in in their day to day life they they should understand uh, what is energy and how costly energy is and uh, what is the energy you know we are uh, really supplying to them for getting their comfort mm. so uh, the students must learn that they should not waste energy and they should convince their parents what i uh, think that uh, the world is for them future world it is not for the parents only uh, but um, basically they will be uh, living longer and uh, they should keep a livable world for them and for that all the parents should be convinced to use clean energy in a better way uh, maybe rooftop solar system they can put up in their home and they can generate their own electricity they can cook their food with a uh, solar cooker they can convince their mother uh, so similarly you know they uh, can convince their dad to buy a electric vehicle not a petrol driven vehicle or diesel driven vehicle so this is how by motivation the awareness and their own initiative the students can really individual students they can really contribute a lot in making a green india and sustainable uh, world you know that is my uh, understanding thank you so much dr choudhary for reminding us the fundamentals what we should be doing as an individual to take those small steps towards sustainability so it was an absolute pleasure and a great honor to have you amongst us and just my last question to you would be that how did you like heritage and how was it being in campus Uh, uh, I liked it. I am very much happy to see the facilities of it. I came to Heritage for some other programs, but today I have seen your uh, this uh, studio and other areas, uh, the media and other sections where students are also studying here. Uh, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, really, uh, I liked it, and I am very happy. I will tell in other places about your facilities and uh, the initiatives you have taken. Um, uh, in this sector i i i will convey this to my colleague and other people wherever i go thank you so much sir